How's it going, boys? Um, today I'm not even gonna do an intro because reasons. Yeah, we're just gonna get uh record a video because why not, boys? Close my eyes, random. Okay, Grimstroke. Yeah, Grimstroke because reasons. So Grimstroke guide. Oh, uh, welcome to the video, guys. If you didn't know, I make guides on Dota heroes and they're pretty good. If you actually watch my shit, no, most people don't watch it fully. If you actually watch it, you will realize that I actually do some pretty good content. You will learn the hero. So yeah, you know, you, you started playing Dota. You want to play a support hero. So you pick Grimstroke because reasons. And um, Grimstroke is actually pretty good. It's actually not bad. His base attack damage is actually decent. And he's a ranged hero with 3 armor and like... You know, he's like Lion, but better. And why? Because... The thing about Grimstroke is that the kill potential with Grimstroke is much m higher than, like, let's say, Lion, for example. Now, Lich is uh, very close. Uh, I would say Grimstroke is probably one of the be better ones out of, like, Crystal Maiden and everything. So, just to know, you know, you pick this hero for one of two reasons, really, okay? Actually, three reasons. One, the, well, the first reason is not actually a reason. It's just that you play mid Grimstroke and you go for the magic build. It is legit to some degree, but however, I do not expect you to do that because it's a grief. You should be playing support Grimstroke. So with support Grimstroke, essentially you're paying him for two reasons. One, you're gonna be you're gonna be very strong in lane. So if you have like a support, Ur you have a carry Ursa, you have a carry Ricky. You have a carry whatever hero that kills people. Juggernaut, you know. These heroes pretty much secure kills with Grimstroke. Juggernaut spin. Uh, Ursa, just being Ursa. Troll Warlord to a certain degree. And Slark is a big one to Ricky. Uh, these heroes that go on people is super good with you because of your Inkswell. And Stroke of Fate is just fucking insanely powerful for no reason. Uh, Phantom Embrace is also a unique silence that makes it so that, you know, you can't just purge it normally. Well, you kind of can, but then you can silence them again because it will come back to you. And, uh, as long as the little bug doesn't die, which I'm actually going to test out here. Believe it or not. Yeah, I'm actually going to test it out. Um, level up enemy to max. I'm going to give him Yules and Manta. Uh, so yeah, Grimstroke. Essentially, that's that. So what you want to do with Grimstroke, essentially, is... Uh, the other reason why you pick Grimstroke is if they have illusion heroes, but then it doesn't really matter what they have, because you're going to be first picking anyway. So it really doesn't... It's not like you're going to counter people. But yeah, he is really good against illusion heroes. Because Soulbind, with your Aghanims, you can pretty much uh, become a carry. So if they have like a Terror Blade, a Morphling, uh, whatever, Drow, any hero that right clicks a lot, you can link them, especially when they have two right clicker uh, heroes, like a mid TA and like a carry Drow or some shit. Yeah, you pretty much rush Aghanims and you're almost as strong, if not even stronger than the enemies. It's pretty retarded if you think about it. So yeah, Grimstroke things. Um, before I get into, I want to say one more thing is that there are some heroes he counters, so like Pangolier. It is a BKB piercing uh, stun, and it cannot be dispelled. So, pretty much is a stun that pierces BKB, and you can't get rid of it once it's on you. So there's no way to actually get rid of this thing. And it will last for the full duration. Th the only problem is they have to be close to each other or else it doesn't actually like do anything. So, you know, obviously you want heroes that restrict their movement. So, like, Anti-Mage is a good one. Just don't cast on yourself. Uh, any hero that likes to roll around, like Pangolier, uh, Tembersot, even. Like, Storm, very good too, especially with the Silence. So, yeah, there's also a little combo you can do with the Stereo Blade, which is you use this and you use this. So, they can't even kill the bug. The little Phantom on them. Uh, level 1, let's go through the spells. Level 1, you get your brush because pretty much what you're doing is you're going to be trying to line up your creeps. What you're essentially doing is that you're going to be trying to lining, you're going to be trying to line up the creeps with the hero. And the way how this works is that the more units you hit, the more damage you're going to do. 
So just read it real quick. Base damage is 120. It's pretty fucking good level 1. The mana cost is pretty high, but the cooldown is already pretty low. It's a pretty good movement speed slow, and um, the damage increases per target. I don't even think there's an upper limit to this. You can just go on forever. So pretty much uh, you can get infinite damage because reasons. Yeah. Um. So let's see. If there is more dummy targets here, for example. Uh, let's just get some more dummy targets here because why the fuck not. Level 1 by the way. This is level 1. Level 1 stroke of fate. Yeah, as you can see, this is pretty good. Level 2 you get your ink swell because uh, again, put this shit on your Ricky or anything, you can get easy kills. Um, Depends on what the situation is. You could, if you are getting kills with your carry like PA or anything, you can get double ink swell. So look at what ink swell does guys. It gives you movement speed, it gives you uh it does damage and it's a stun and it like does a little trickle of damage. So it can break uh like you know TA shields and shit like that. And the cooldown does go down a lot more. However, if you have a carry, let's say a carry Medusa or a carry Luna that doesn't really go on top of the hero that wants to keep their distance. You know, any melee hero, you pretty much want to get double uh, ink swell. Yeah, pretty much any melee hero, but like ranged hero that sits back, sometimes you might not want to do that because you're kind of wasting it. It's better to get two brush and just stroke people. Uh, Phantom Embrace is just a value point, honestly. It's like, it's just good, okay? It comes back, it refreshes. So let's say it latches on this guy. It's dealing damage to him slowly and trickling. And once it dies, it like, wait, it doesn't come back to you? Question mark. Um, <laughs> wait, what? Hold on. Oh, because it died. Oh yeah, it died. That's why it refreshes it. So there's zero cooldown technically. Again, maxing out this is ideal if you have a melee carry. If not, max out stroke of face. Faith. Fate. Stroke of fate. Holy shit. Uh get your alt because again, it's good. And then after that, you pretty much just level up your whatever, your Q first and your W. With the talents though. Um Let's see, boys. Pretty much what you want to do is ink swell cooldown because it's just too fucking good. Uh, here, this one's interesting. You do want to buff your carry, but if you're playing, again, if you're playing, not again. Why am I saying this? Okay, restart. If you're playing mid Grimstroke, you can go uh, DPS and Spell Amp. This is way to buff your carry. And by the way, three hits to kill Phantom is pretty much the fucking seals the deal for the game forever because the yes the stroke of fate is nice it's cool you know plus 1000 range is fucking cool but like it's pretty much bullshit and uh yeah you can technically real like line up more people theoretically but realistically it's not gonna do shit so this is much more practical <laughs> and it makes it impossible to kill you gotta hit it 12 times actually no you gotta hit it four times Ink Swell Duration. Mm, this one's interesting. If they have Illusion Heroes, go this. If they don't, go that. This is actually Illusion Hero Counter. Because if you see this, you pretty much kill everything. You're doing 1k damage. Yeah, it's pretty much fucking broken, guys. Support, just buy support items, whatever. Get Mana Boots, because you're going to need it. And you can get Wand. Upgrade to Aether Lens, doesn't matter. Okay, this hero you can actually get Aether Lens first. Because a lot of time you're going to be sitting in the back and casting your E on people, right? So as you can see, this is what happens. And then, it boom, it stuns everyone. And while you're doing that, you can like put it on you. So you can you can literally do something like this. You put it on yourself and you do that and they try to run away. You stun them and you give them a little lash, right? What's also cool about this hero is that let's say there's two heroes here. You can latch them together. And you put the bug, and by the way, everything you cast is on both of them. So, 
and they can't really run away from you because it's really especially when they're in a team fight lack of communication one person runs this way one person runs this way it pretty much makes it like they can't do shit and it's pretty good uh this is why ideally grimstroke is also a very good halberd carrier and actually no halberd is dog shit i don't know why anyone hex dagon or perhaps ethereal blade car carrier because this is what you can do guys you can literally do something like this like you can just do something like this and then yeah you're doing a lot of things if you didn't realize by the way does this work yeah this is pretty fucking good wow um yeah anyways that's that what else can you get glimmer four staff you know the basic shit blink dagger no um i a on disc if there's like faceless void or techie it's pretty straightforward i'll say glimmer cape is always a good good one four staff is also a good one and i don't think four staff works oh it does work wait what interesting interesting Wait, can they use it themselves, though? Yeah, they can't push it themselves, but you can't push them away. Interesting, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see this. So, Inkswell does 40% more damage and heal the target for 40%. Basically, what this does is that this is a fucking strong dispel, and whatever you put it on, they're going to be healing so much HP, guys. I'm not kidding when I say you heal for a fuck ton of HP because you really do. Like, I am not kidding when I say that. Like, yeah, I'm healing a lot of HP if you didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, especially when there's a lot of heroes near you. Yeah. Um, but anyways... That's basically just uh, the spell for your carry. So you have a carry that goes in. Ursa, whatever. Super nice to have. The shard and the axe is broken on this hero. And if you have this shit, mm, what can I say? What you're basically doing is that your illusion get your illusion is faster than the enemy. So you're going to be running and chasing them down. 25 seconds with the 35, 35 second cooldown. So pretty much it has like a 10 second off cooldown time. And the damage is 150 times the damage. Yes, it's only base damage. There's no bonus damage. But a lot of heroes like Morph and Terrorblade and heroes like that has only base damage. Especially if they have some kind of fucking bullshit ability that's a passive. It works with it too, like Desolate. So you're doing even more damage. Especially if you have Luna. If you have like an illusion of Luna, what's going to happen? Here's the math, okay? You put this shit on the carry Luna. Moon glaives. One, you're gonna get lunar blessing for free, and two, you're you're gonna get you're gonna be glaving everybody. And guess what? People not gonna do. They're not gonna fucking hit an illusion in the middle of a fight. So theoretically, that fucking Luna is gonna be doing so much fucking damage that people don't even realize because people don't understand. Like, until you get to immortal level, people don't understand. They be targeting heroes. They don't target illusions, which is also venge is so good sometimes. Because people don't target the illusion. And the illusion is doing more damage than the actual hero itself. So you pretty much fuck up everything you can. And yeah, if that's not fucking broken, I don't know what is, guys. Um, You can literally do that. Two illusions of themselves. And they're doing so much damage. Like, they're straight up doing so much damage. Let's see, so we get a drought, right? Can we get an enemy? No, we can't. I want to show you guys the outcome, but yeah. You're really good against a lot of things. Let's do some quick math, because why the fuck not? Quick math time. So yeah, right now I'm going to get an enemy hero drow. I'm going to get an enemy hero luna, let's say, right? I don't know, something like as simple as like Terror Blade. Okay. So, level up enemy to max. 
Uh, let's say Luna gets her talents because why the fuck not, boys? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna get one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, that's good enough. Level up to max. And this is essentially what's gonna happen. You just, you literally just need Aghanims and this. Okay. You don't even need this, dude. I just need eggs. You link them, you do that, and then you attack people. And look at what's gonna happen. You can put this on the illusion as well. Like, I'm telling you, this shit does so much damage. People are gonna ignore this, but they don't understand because. Yeah, you are. Yeah, the illusions are fucking broken, guys. It does just not as much damage. As it would any other way. <laughs> Holy fuck. You can even get a refresher. Oh my god. Grim is actually such an annoying piece of shit. Double with Link. Double fucking Dark Portrait. GG boys. And you get a refresher shard. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the Twitch. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the anything. Everything boys. Have a very nice day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.